In this video, we're going to go ahead and configure the inventory failover service. Again, this, this is going to be a service that's just going to be uh, responding back with a positive response for the inventory service. And that's if the inventory is in, uh, service is not available. Uh, there's really no uh, Kubernetes configuration to do for this. It's more uh, application logic to utilize one service over another if the preferred service is not available. That's all application logic. But for uh, our deployment to Kubernetes, we do need to define that service. So let's toggle over to the command line and do that right now. That's going to be uh, cube control. And in this case, we are going to uh, be able to do everything right from the command line. So create deployment. And in this case, it's going to be inventory failover. Spring Framework Guru. And this is going to be KBE and fail over this time. I'm not specifying a tag. Dry dash run equals client minus O equals YAML. And we'll call it inventory failover. YML. That creates the failover. And we do cube control and apply that. Inventory failover deployment YAML. That creates the pod for us. Clear. And now let's go ahead and create the service. Create service. Cluster IP. Inventory dash failover. And this is going to be running on 8083. Dry run client. Minus O for YAML output. And in this case, we want to say service. And that creates a service. And in this case, we can say inventory service. Keep control, apply inventory failover service like so. And that creates that. Clear the screen. And let's go ahead and take a look at what's running now. And now we can see that we have, um, getting a little big for the font here, but we have the pod inventory failover, the services of inventory, inventory failover, JMS, Kubernetes, MySQL. So all that is looking good for us.